All right, so this is a more in-depth tutorial on how to enable and use the spatial video recording on an iPhone 15 Pro Max or 15 Pro. First, you need to ensure that you have iOS 17.2 or newer. And as you can see, we are on iOS 17.3 on this iPhone 15 Pro Max. Next, we can go down to camera, which is farther down here. Camera, formats, and if you don't already have the toggle for spatial video for Apple Vision Pro enabled, turn it on because you're going to need it. <clears throat> and you go into camera and for video, you want that on, of course. Then rotate it horizontally and you'll see this Apple Vision Pro icon enable. So let's, let's go ahead and enable that. And let's go ahead and continue that. And when you're in portrait orientation, you can't use it. It'll give you a prompt that says to rotate it back to landscape, which we will do. It'll say to move it farther away because it needs some good distance. And from there, you are good to go, pretty much. On the back, they switched the telephoto and the ultra wide around so that the main and ultra wide cameras are in landscape together. So it's kind of like your two eyes working together. So that's essentially how it works. So when you're recording the spatial video, you do have to move farther away from this. It does require some space because it is using the, the main and the ultra wide lenses. You cannot zoom in. You cannot change the frame rate or the resolution. It's stuck at 1080p 30 SDR. And of course you cannot zoom in. So I am taking a video right now and you can see that Apple Vision Pro icon right there. And, of course, it will be a short video. I'll explain more later on. Of course, this will show up as a 2D playback on your iPhone, but on an Apple Vision Pro, this will actually be more lifelike, hence the name Spatial Video. And going into the editor, the only thing you can do really with this is trim it. That's all. If you found this video helpful, then please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you next time.